Pirates, it's Ren here. Let's talk a little bit about the new build in the Saw Factory. If you still don't have it, the first step is to build your Saw Factory. So you go here in the Command Center, pick Build, go on Defense, and click on the Saw Factory. It takes seven days. If you have an officer, you're going to get a 10% discount on that time. So I'm going to click Start Build. And you can just put whenever you want within the yellow line here. So it doesn't matter if it's outside, protected, really it's not a, a strategic beauty. It doesn't count towards a win or a loss in a base attack. So just put w whatever you want. So you see now that started, I have an officer. So instead of seven days, the building will take six days, seven hours, 11 minutes to finish. Okay, now we have a level one soft factory ready. Uh, there is an option to upgrade it. So if you want to take it to level two, it's another 12 days. I'm not going to do that right now. Let's open it. So the first thing you see here, this interface reminds me of the rocket launch pad where you have a total trap weight limiting how many traps you can build so right now there are two types of traps the anti-ship mine and the hibernation mine the anti-ship if you look at the statistics for it it does 20 million corrosive damage it explodes in a blast range of 20 and if you look at all these ridiculously high deflection numbers here it's just to mean that the attacker cannot shoot at them and kill them. So the only way they're going to be destroyed is by proximity. And right now the trigger range states 120. We had word from the game designer on Discord that this is actually supposed to mean 12. And apparently it works. It's just a problem with the way it's displayed here. So it's 12 and a blast of 20. So it always hits. It triggers when the attacker gets close to the mine. So let's build a mine. It's three hours to get one done. As you can see here, I'm going to speed up. Just so we see what happens. And now I have my very first mine built here. You can see I have one of each and still none of the hibernation. If you go in the loadout screen, you can choose a trap for each slot you have. As you can see right now with a brand new saw factory, I have two slots, meaning I can put two traps in my, my, in my base. And I need to upgrade to unlock the remaining slots. So that's what upgrading gets you. The ability to place more mines in, uh, on, on, your, on, your, on your base area. It probably increases your total weight, but I'm not sure of that. I think it does. That remains to be seen once I upgrade. So again, let's click load out. I'm gonna pick this one. If you want to place them in your base, you go here on trap load out, and you can just click this trap, and now you can place it whatever you want. I mean. This one, the anti-ship mine fits in your channel, so you can put whatever you want here on an empty space. And now it means whenever an attacker moves close to it, say they're going down your channel, they get here, the mine explodes, the trap explodes, and they take 20 million corrosive damage. One thing about it is if the attacker loses the attack, your mine stays where it is. But if the attacker wins and your base gets damaged, this mine is destroyed because it was used. In which case, there's going to be nothing here next time unless you have more of these mines built. So I'm going to go back here and I'm going to build it. Right now I have that one that's placed. And we can start building another one. So if that one gets consumed and there are more, 
it immediately takes place of that one and you don't need to reposition but if you don't have anything left like like in my case now and that one gets destroyed in an attack where the attacker wins then you gotta go and reposition rebuild the trap in place let's look at the second mine the hibernation mine is different so this one requires some titanium some energy here to build i don't have enough titanium right now but this one won't damage the attacker directly it's going to reduce their combat turn speed it's going to add eight seconds to their reload so it's a tactical field and it's going to reduce their range by 50 percent the range is 50 which means about two tiles and a half in terms of range and the main difference of this one here let me see if I can get one built here. Let's build one. I'm going to speed it up so we can see how it works. And now let's go and load out. So I have that one here. I'm going to put that one in the second spot. Now, as you can see, this one has a big footprint. It's on purpose it's made so it cannot fit in a channel right so the only way you can fit it in a channel is by making a wider channel with three tiles of water otherwise either you gotta put somewhere like at the entrance of your channel or at the exit of your channel here towards the end so th these are the natural places for this trap or maybe by the outpost here so so somewhat right I'm going to put one here at the entrance. And so now that one is in place. I don't know what this little lock, up, lock here means, but this one is ready. This one is locked, whatever that means. Okay, so that's the basics of the soft factory. Right now, two mines at level one, two slots you can load out. When you upgrade, you get more slots. So you can have up to four mines in your base. You could use the same one on both slots. If you think the anti-ship is better or the hibernation is better, you could have two of them and build more. So if one gets destroyed on a successful base attack, another one immediately takes its place without you having to reposition that again. So I'm going to start building another one. This time it's going to be slow. And I hope this was a good overview, folks. See you next time.